Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today, the 31st of December, the last day of the year, Holy Mother the Church calls us to the memory of Saint Sylvester I, the Pope. Saint Sylvester I was a Pope who succeeded Saint Mithladis. Saint Sylvester became a Pope in 314 AD, exactly during the time when Church retained its peace, when all the persecutions which were happening for so long years stopped and church now became a state religion because the emperor Constantine himself became a Christian. It was during his time that uh, the emperor shifted from Rome to Constantine, making Rome as the capital of the church. And the palace of the king was, became the first church, the church called John the Lantern, uh, the, which was known as the first cathedral, first basic building of the church, that, is, that was the palace of Constantine. What did Pope Sylvester I do? Pope Sylvester I was uh, one who recognized, reorganized the church. He re reorganized the church and recognized the need of systematization in the church. He, he systematized the church, he reorganized the church, the chants, the hymns, the prayers. And the greatest thing that he did was, then uh, he, he was the one during his time, was this, the Council of Nicaea was brought together, was called for. What is the Council of Nicaea? Council of Nicaea was a council which was called for against uh, uh, the heresy of Arianism which believed that Jesus Christ okay, was a man. He had two natures, human and divine nature, and uh, he was a man who became God and all things like that. This heresies, heresies means mystical beliefs. Not mystical beliefs, mistaking beliefs or mistakes, basically. So that's how... Uh, along with so many saints of repute. He was the one who was at the helm of the Nicene Creed, of the Nicene Council, and the Creed as we know, which became the preamble of our faith, was formulated during this time. So therefore, whatever we do today, dear brethren, do not know how much impact he, it has for the church. The Nicene Creed still has, has its own impact in the church, till this day. What are we doing for the church? What are we doing for God? Its impact is going to be great. Amen.